Got it's debated. over already. We did it. We won. We beat the game. Come on, legendary. <gasps> oh, you, you both didn't tell me that was not our legend, 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 legendary. <gasps> oh, you, you both didn't tell me that was not our. What's going on, guys? Rounded Tic Tac here, and we're back with another Outriders video. If you guys like this content, full weapon breakdowns, guides, and gear, make sure to subscribe. And with that, let's get into the video. Now, originally, I thought that the Trickster and the Technomancer were the kings of the farm. I may have jumped the gun a little bit on that. I mean, yeah, they do really, really well, and you need less loot for them to do well. But once you get a couple of mods online, your time to kill on the Devastator is pretty friggin' nutty. Uh, mainly one skill we're going to be using adds up to a ton of damage. And if you can get a weapon with a different status effect modifier on it, you can do some pretty insane things. So before we break it down, let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. Any kind of grouping of enemies, the Devastator absolutely destroys. And you literally don't have to do anything for it either. You don't have to aim your thermal bomb or use a bubble or use your one or nothing. You literally can just AFK and kill everybody. We just killed this entire arena and we didn't shoot one time. That's pretty impressive, but it gets even better because not only is he good for clearing ads like in the normal game, but he's insanely good at killing captains too, which in most people's opinions, the Devastator was bottom two along with Pyromancer. So all you got to do is again, we're going to run to the captain here. Going to drop down, use R2, use R1 and just shoot him. I don't know, twice, three times, a couple times and he's dead. And that's how easy it is. It's, in fact, it's probably my favorite favorite single farm uh, in the game. Favorite character to farm on in the game. Uh, and I'm most likely going to be playing Devastator on release as it is. So I might as well get him up there. But with this build, you do need some gear. You do need specific mods to be able to pull something like that off. So let's just go over what mods you might be looking for. First, on our helmet for the Devastator, you want the strongest first. The enemy with the most health takes 50% more damage. This perk is really, really good when you don't modify the build to where you can still trigger the ability, but it's still really good here because it happens naturally now. The bullets reflect. You don't really have to worry about anybody in your crosshairs when you blow the ability and you just do that 50% more damage to any bullet that hits an enemy that has 50 that has the most health. So it really does work out for us. Then we have on our chest piece, blood primer, all reflected bullets apply bleed status, which is incredible because once they're hit one time, they automatically get the bleed. And unlike a lot of games, the status effects in this game seem to be quite intense and quite valuable and status builds are definitely going to be in the game i guarantee it next we have reinforced britches with auto reflect this is the big one this is the one you definitely need to be able to do this farm on a devastator you can now fight while the skill is active but you cannot manually deactivate the skill and it only negates 50 percent of bullet damage instead of the 100 percent even though you lose out on a bit of tankiness, at least for what we're doing right now in the demo, it's more than enough damage reduction to where the payoffs greatly outweigh the negatives of this ability. Auto reflect is something you definitely need for this build. It allows you to shoot, use other abilities, and just play the game normally uh, while reflecting all the damage that is also applying bleeds and 50% extra damage to anybody with max health. Then we have bullet acceleration. Increases the damage of your reflected bullets by 25 so that's just a little bit bonus damage on top again with the bleed it ends up being a decent amount and lastly on our boots here we have life absorption on gravity leap when i played the alpha this was my bread and butter ability now playing some more here and not being rushed to finish like the alpha or something this is still a fantastic ability for survivability and mobility it's really really good and i would say one of the best ones for gravity leap but I don't know. Maybe now we do a reflect build fully and then we'll try that. Or maybe even an earthquake build because with the earthquake mods, you can gain armor and other things like that. But the only other one that you would possibly use here, I personally, in my opinion, I'm not even sure if I have it, but it's increase reflect bullets by 20%. You might want to try that one too. 
So let me just show you guys one more time exactly uh, what to do. And so you know it's not a fluke. Once you do acquire those mods and you're a big Devastator fan, and that's the character you want to play, but you, you're like kind of jealous that everybody can farm and he has a hard time. Once you get a couple of mods together, you're good to go. On top of that, the Reflect Bullet ability also can stagger them from out of their abilities. I mean, you literally just have to look at people and they die. This is fantastic. This build is so strong that I was actually able to kill this captain with my eyes closed. Ready? Watch. I'm going to show you. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Ready? Check this out. Up. Right? And then I got to look this way. Pull up. Do this. This. Earthquake. Uh, this? No. I'm still alive. What am I shooting? <laughs> what am I? Did I die? Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is the Devastator build. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to start off with when the game comes out in a couple of days or a couple of weeks rather and i think i'm going to be a devastator main for the first part just he's too much fun of a character where are my devastator mains at let me see down in the comments below guys subscribe for more guide gear and gameplay and if you guys want to check us out at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac i'm live over there four days a week thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on the next one tic tac out